and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Leia and thanks as always for being here. And I have my little friend today, my little Cine princess. She did come and join me today. I also have my big guy right here, Jackie. He's kind of on the floor hanging out. I'd love to show you, but he's too heavy. He weighs about 90 pounds. He's a golden retriever and I can't pick him up. They are gonna be joining me today during this video. And I did this like black metallic eye being honest, when I first started this, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to film to feel put together today because we're like day a million quarantine, I guess at this point. And after so many days, you just want to be put together. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and film like a get ready with me or just kind of like a makeup look. And I realized, you know what, Leia, you haven't done black in a really long time. And I'm being honest, I never really wear black, but gosh, I'm going to wear it now all the time. <laughs> I like need to go somewhere because I just absolutely love the way it turned out. So if you do want to see this look, definitely please keep watching and keep in mind it does not always look great as you're creating the look, but in the end, everything will come together once you put like your liner and your lashes on, everything will come together. So trust the process. Don't jump to conclusions right away that, oh, this is not going to do, you know, work well or look good, but Trust the process, it will look great. Please do subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I would love to have you here for all my future videos. And without further ado guys, I'm gonna stop rambling and let's just get started. So I went ahead and did my brows. Um, I just used the Anastasia Ebony Powder. I don't really like to do brows on camera only because it takes um, forever. And you know, my routine hasn't changed. I don't really do a structured brow. I kind of just brush brow powder through it and whatever looks the best. I just go with it. So I'm going to take this Pro Crease, a number 10 brush from Sephora. I need to get a couple more of these. Uh, you probably see me using this in all of my tutorials just because I love, I love, I love, I love, 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 love this brush. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and mix these two top shades right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw that in the crease. And I think this is Silk Cream and MFEO as like a transition shade. And also I kind of put down concealer, um, Tarte Shape Tape in light medium. And I pretty much put it around like my brows in their inner corners. Um, because every time I start with my face, I'm sorry, my eye makeup first, I like to put down some concealer because when we go in with foundation after, it's really hard to kind of get that clean, like where there's no like harsh lines between your makeup and then your foundation concealer. So I like to put that down first. Anything I can do to help, I like. So I went ahead and zoomed you on in a little bit just so you can see a detailed, you know, work of what I'm doing. Now I'm just gonna take a black um, eyeliner. I've, I'm trying to finish this one up. It's like little itty bitty baby. And any, your favorite black pencil eyeliner will work. And I'm kind of just gonna put this all over like my lids on both sides. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. And I'm pretty much just using this as a base because sometimes, I don't know, I feel like sometimes like black eyeshadow is not as dark or as pigmented. So I have seen this technique before and I think it works really, really well and it allows that very like opaque dark base on the bottom so the black shows through or not shows through but so it's like it has something to hold on to and it's probably more like pigmented or more just very like black 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 and that's what I'm looking for. Now you don't have to be precise, you could be messy because again we're going to put color on top of it. I am looking to buy a couple like palettes. Now, if you guys have any recommendations, please do leave them in the description box. I have a couple palettes that I wanna toss cause I know they're getting a little bit older and maybe I just use them too much and I just need to like rotate out old palettes and then get new palettes. Plus I have a lot of like all the BoxyCharm palettes that they send. I don't uh, subscribe to BoxyCharm anymore. Um, not saying I won't in the future. 
I really like the service. I just kind of stopped it for a little bit because I just wasn't liking what I was getting. Uh, just to be honest with you guys, I wasn't liking it, but I do like the service. I had the subscription for over like two years. I have a lot of their palettes and I want to start throwing some of them out because let's be honest, I don't really use them. So if you guys have any recommendations on like a good uh, palette, if I don't have it, I would love to, you know, hear what you guys got to say and I consider possibly buying it. I did see the new um, Mulan palette from ColourPop and I think that one looks really, really nice. So it's very neutral, but I mean, we all love neutrals, right? Anyways, I'm going to take this Morphe M433 brush and I'm kind of just going to, like if it was an eyeshadow and try to blend it out a little bit. But again, it's not going to probably blend that well just because it's just a base, but I'm just going to start blending it a little bit. Make sure you keep this kind of a little bit low because it is black and you don't want like a big old black eye like if you just got in a fight or something. So I'm just gonna make sure I keep this really, really low, like not into the crease or not above. Just keep it kind of like on the lid. Okay, that really didn't do anything, but whatever, we're gonna move on. <laughs> okay, so now I'm actually gonna go in with the, oh my God, I don't even know how to say this, A-B-Y-S-S. Abby's a buys I don't know and it's just that true black color in her palette and I'm going to take it on that same um, Morphe brush the M433 and I'm kind of going to start like packing this on on the lid and again like start off little and grow because it's so easy to get out of control when it comes to black and it's easier to pack on more than it is to take off. Now I'm just going to start I guess working on my like outer V and I might have to switch brushes too. This might be too thick of a brush so I might have to switch brushes. So the only thing I can say right now is trust the process. I feel like with all my eye looks it's always like looking like what is she doing until probably the finished product so trust the process guys makeup looks always look weird like when you're doing them but then at the end everything will come together okay now that i have that part kind of not done but you know good for now i'm gonna go ahead and uh put the black matter shade on and that's from the dominique cosmetics palette this is a Celestial Thunder, which I did get in the bo in my BoxyCharm. I don't remember what month, but it was sometime last year. Now, this is the color of it. It's really pretty. It's like a gunmetal color. And I'm going to go ahead and put that. I was thinking about whether I wanted to do like an all black. But I saw this color and I was like, oh, you know what? I probably like, you know, be honest, would never wear this color because I just don't wear a lot of super dark makeup looks. It would have to be a special occasion. Thought I would just do like a metallic smoky eye now i'm gonna go ahead and try to pack it on and off the bat i don't think it packs on that well so i think i'm gonna go ahead and add some uh fix plus this is just the it was like a limited edition packaging version um it has like it was i think it was summer or something of last year now i'm gonna go ahead and just spray it it's the same formula so use whatever fix plus that you have so okay that does work a whole lot better and actually, I don't even think this is like as black as I thought. It definitely is more like a gunmetal, like a grayish metallic. But we're going to go with it. I was not going into this makeup look with any plan. I was kind of just going to wing it because, again, I like playing with makeup. I needed to feel pretty for a day because I just haven't done anything for like my quarantine other than like be on social media, which I'm kind of getting tired of. Or, I mean, I've been watching a lot of TV and, like, movies and stuff, but what have you guys been doing? Leave in the comments. I need some ideas. I'm not a gamer. Um, some movie recommendations. I don't like horror or, like, suspense or something like that. But anything else, like, mystery or, like, love, comedy, or just, you know, things that have, like, a lot of different categories in one. I love that. But, like, not anything that's, like, too intense. So, leave them in the comments. So that actually does look really pretty. And I still have to blend, guys, so. We will blend our life away right now. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more Fix Plus and then do the other eye. I'm pretty much just taking the lid shade like three quarters of the way. I'm gonna go back in with just that matte black shade and kind of like blend um, the two colors together so they don't look like a harsh transition between the two of them. I'm just taking this like again three quarters of the way on the lid 
Okay, I'm really glad that we did our eyes first because I am getting a little bit of fallout, but I'll go ahead and clean that up when I'm done with my eye makeup. Every time you're doing a really dark color or just any like full-blown eye makeup, I definitely suggest doing your eyes first. And then I'm just taking now that same uh, matte black color and gonna like start blending it all out. Okay, now I'm actually gonna go in with, um, this is just the MAC 240, 217. And it's a clean one, it's not, I wash them, it doesn't have any product. And I'm gonna start blending in the insides. I don't wanna put any product right here because I don't wanna look like a raccoon eye in the middle. So I'm just gonna start blending right here with no additional product. Or if you do want to put a little bit of product, I suggest putting the brown uh, transition shade that we did and not a black. So I'm trying to go very, very, very carefully right here in the inner corner so it doesn't look like ugly. So you see how it's picking up a lot of that black? Just be very, very careful. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and pick up those two again, just a little bit lightly, and then kind of just sweep that around the whole eye, like all of the black. I'm gonna leave the eyes like that for now. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up, but I'm gonna put on these pure uh, lashes in Bombshell. They're really, really pretty. I have used them before, but this is the fresh pair, and it's always so exciting when you get to use a fresh pair. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. Okay, I do have the lashes on now, and I went and had to cut a little bit of the, um, of the lash like this much. I don't know if you can kind of tell. By the way, these nails are so disgusting. With this quarantine, obviously can't get your nails done. So I'm working with what I got and they're looking really gross. So I don't know, I'm sorry about that. Well, the reason I cut them actually is because um, they just get kind of long, but you always cut from the back. I never really cut from the middle, always like the ends. And then I'm just gonna take, this is an Essence Waterproof Felt Tip Liner, and I'm kinda just gonna run it along the lash. Just, I mean, they, you obviously can't tell because it's black, but I'm just gonna put like a quick, like very thin line. Okay, went in ahead and zoomed you guys on out. This is just a Kirkland makeup wipe, and I'm just gonna kind of wipe off all that black uh, fallout underneath and kind of just curve this up so it looks, it's pretty much just clean up all your mess. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. You see, I have it right here. And then I'm gonna go in with foundation. This is Estee Lauder Double Wear 2W2 Rattan, Rattan. I'm only using that because I want um, a very full coverage foundation, obviously, because this is a full coverage look. It's not something that you're just gonna wear to the grocery store. I mean, unless you want to, that's totally cool too. I would wear this to the grocery store just cause you know, I don't really go anywhere else. <laughs> okay, then I'm just gonna take this sponge. It's already wet. And I'm gonna go ahead and start blending out all that foundation. And I am breaking out a lot right here. I'm gonna cover that up. I do have an appointment coming up with my dermatologist and I'm gonna like ask them about that because I've kind of been breaking out for a little bit now and I'm, you know, tired of it. I'm sure you guys are too if you get breakouts or acne or whatever and I just want it to go away but I only get it in like this one little patch area and it's just really, really annoying. And then just try as best you can to go around your brows so you don't mess up like the work that you already did. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with um, Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on all of the places that I want that extra coverage or like, you know, the areas where the sun naturally hits the face to highlight. And I'm gonna put this underneath my eyes, around my nose, and then kind of right here on my forehead. And then I'm gonna blend it out as well. And with the like really hard to reach places, I'm gonna go ahead and use this kind of like duo fiber brush from Luxie. It's a large shader 209. What I do also like about like a nice thick concealer like Tarte Shape Tape is say, you know, you don't wanna layer on your foundation so uh, thick, you're gonna go in with the concealer anyway. So that adds like another layer of coverage. And I like that as well. I'm gonna kinda like try to cover up my little trouble spot right there. And then be very careful going around your makeup, which you already did. You don't wanna get it all messed up. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Fit Me powder from Maybelline. It's in the shade number 10. It's just kind of like this like neutral yellow tone base powder. And I'm gonna bake with that underneath my eyes. I love this shade. It kind of brightens up, you know, my under eye a lot. And I love that. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and like bake the sides of my nose and I bring it down right here to my smile lines as well. Just because I, you know, when I smile, I naturally like crease right there. So I feel like when I bake it, like it doesn't allow it to crease, at least not as like quickly. And then I'm gonna put some here on my forehead and also right here, like in the middle of my brows and kind of down the bridge of my nose. And then I will let that bake for just a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the MAC Studio Fix Powder NC30, and I'm just taking this on a Morphe E41 brush and kind of just dusting it on the areas I didn't bake and also dusting off a little bit of the powder. Now, I am gonna be recording another video after this. That's why I wanted to do like a little bit of a get ready with me, and I'm gonna be like cooking, so I've never done a cooking video on my channel, but I was like, you know what? With this quarantine, I need to be like more outside the box and I need to come up with ideas because I'm not actually like working as much right now. So I'm like, I want to keep my YouTube channel going and please do leave me like ideas in the description box of what you'd like to see. You know, I'm more than happy to do whatever you guys would like to see. And then uh, for bronzer, this is just Coconut Beach from ColourPop. It's part of their like um, that coconut collection. And then this is the Alomar bronzer brush and I really do like it. I love the shape of it, it's really nice. I'm gonna kind of just start bronzing up my cheeks. I do a little bit of the duck face and I bring it down and then kind of like little circular motions and always like blend up, never blend down. So that's exactly what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm gonna try a cooking video, wish me luck, see how that goes. And then maybe I'll do some future like cooking stuff in the future, not sure. I'm by all means like not a chef at all. There's a lot of things that I don't know how to cook. <laughs> I do enjoy cooking and I pretty much taught myself how to do a lot of stuff. I would like start with like recipes and I would just kind of go from there and then trial and error on a lot of things. There's a lot of times where I've like made some big disappointments while cooking and then I just feel like, oh, what a waste of like my money and then my time to cook and go to the grocery store and stuff. So I'm definitely not a chef, but I do enjoy cooking and I'm just kind of like learn as I go along. I'm actually gonna use this same bronzer to contour a little bit just cause it doesn't have any shimmer. So I'm gonna take the NARS Eda, put it a little bit on the bottom of my lip bringing down a little bit of my nose and also a little bit on my cheeks. Okay, I'm actually gonna clean this up a little bit. I don't really like muddy looking skin, especially from bronzer. So I always kind of like afterwards re put like uh, translucent powder here and then underneath where I bronze and contoured just a little bit. It just kind of cleans up that line. It makes it look like nice and like, I'm not gonna say straight, but just clean. It doesn't look muddy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I will put some blush. I don't know what blush I'm gonna do today, but because I have the nice dark eye, I'll probably just go with like a neutral. I'm gonna use this one. It's pretty vulgar. It's a uh, number 18 Hush Blush. It's just that really pretty like uh, peach, not peachy, it's more pinky, like a mauve pink. And I'm gonna use this on the Morphe M. 462 brush it is a dual fiber and i do like dual fibers a lot because you don't get out of control where a lot of times like you can have a heavy hand and just be like and then put on your face and then i don't know it just gets like out of control too quickly and i like this because it definitely like it's like a light sweep and it controls a lot of the product that you put on so you, it's definitely like one of those where you can build but you're not just going to go straight in and go boop you know so I do like dual fibers. If you do have a heavy hand, definitely try dual fiber brushes. You will not hate them. You'll love them. So I did put a, a good layer only because blush is the first thing to fade. I mean, I like a heavy blush anyways. I like a heavy everything, let's be honest. And then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of dust a little bit this off. I'm not gonna dust all of it off just because I'm still gonna go in with like to do my lower lash line and I might even still have to put some more just because I don't want all that black to still fall and ruin my face work. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dust this off. It doesn't need to sit on your face for too long and this is just another Alomar brush. It's the brightening brush. It's definitely good for like right here. It's perfect but any type of powder I'm sure it'd be great for. And then for highlight I am gonna use Fuego from Dose of Colors. And I'm gonna take that on this Morphe M501. Go ahead and do that right now. Always do my nose. I love a good nose contour. And I'm not really precise with it. Just put some on and glow to the gods. <laughs> put some right here on my cheeks. 
I kind of, as I'm putting it on, I'm like moving my head because I just want to make sure that I'm putting in the right spots where like, like you see that, bam, you know, it hits the light and it just, oh, <laughs> again, bringing this down right here. So pretty, looks so nice. And then on my Cupid's bow, even though honestly, once you put your lip liner on, you can't really tell that it's on your Cupid's bow, but I mean, I know it's there and I think it's great. You can also bring it right here on your chin. I've seen some people bring it right here. I don't put a lot on my forehead or my chin, but you know, today I will. And I'll also take this as well and put some uh, underneath my brow bone. Oh, I have all these little hairs. I don't even know if you can tell, but they're all like just, I have my ceiling fan on cause I was sweating earlier. So it's making my hair blow everywhere. I'm just gonna kind of hit underneath my brow bone. Teeny. My doggies just walked in. They've entered the building. I'm filming. Come here, Sin. Hey, don't sneeze on me. Say hi, Tinny. Hello. Hi, Tin. This is my little min pin, Sin. She's gonna come hang out with me. She always wants to just lay on the bed. Go. She's gonna hang out with me right there. And then I have my little, my not little, he's big, my big golden. He's like right here on the floor. I would show you, but I can't pick him up. He's too heavy. <laughs> Then I'm gonna hit my inner corner right here as well, inner tear duct. What are you doing? What are you doing? You see? You see the people? <gasps> you see them? Okay, I went ahead and zoomed you in a little bit so I can finish my lower lash line. Um, this is just the Inglot number 77 and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my waterline right here on the bottom. So I'm also gonna tight line, so put it on the top as well. It just makes everything look like, you know, you know, there's no gaps. It makes everything look like it's all connected. But just like that, I'm gonna do that to my other side as well. It sucks kind of being a contact lens wearer because sometimes the eyeliner always gets on your contact, which is a bummer, but I mean, you kind of just have to work with what you got. Like that, I don't know if you can tell, it kind of got on my contact lens, but it comes off. It's not a huge deal. And if it doesn't, sometimes I'll just take a Q-tip. I know it sounds really weird putting a Q-tip in your eye, but when you're a contact lens wearer, you kind of learn to go with anything. And then I'm gonna kind of just pull this up a little bit to do right here. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with the MAC 217. And, and you know what? I'm not gonna do that right now. What I'm gonna do first is go in with this brush. I don't even know what it is. It, it, oh, this is a Luxie Mini Flat Angled uh, 111 brush. And I'm gonna go in with that black color and I'm pretty much just gonna like pack this on the lid. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna just add more powder because I just don't wanna risk, um, you know, having a lot of fallout and getting every, like looking so muddy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put some of this down. And if I have to redo a little bit of my highlight, then so be it. I'd rather do that than really mess everything up. Okay, and then now I'm gonna go in with that black sheen and then just start packing right here. We are gonna be smoke it today. So kind of like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. That looks really pretty. And then I'm just gonna take, um, I guess I'm gonna take this color right here. I think this is pukey and I'm gonna kind of like blend it out a little bit. Yeah, that's like the perfect color to take. And that's all I'm gonna do to the lower lash line. And I'm just gonna add some mascara on the bottom and we will be done with our eyes. Okay, so now that we finished that, I'm just gonna dust away all this powder once again and glad that we didn't mess up any of our under eye powder or under eye like, you know, foundation and concealer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just retouch up my highlight a little bit, just a little bit. It's already there, just a little bit. Perfect. And then I'm gonna use, this is like a brow mascara just to run this through my brows. This one's from NYX. It is the shade Brunette and I love a good bushy brow. So I always flick the hairs up. I love them wild. My hair is being wild. And do the same to the other side. Oh, these hairs get out of my way. Now the last thing that we have to do are my lips. And because I have a really bold eye, I'm gonna do a very, very nude lip. I'm gonna line them with a nude uh, liner and I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use just Mac Oak. I have it over here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna use Mac Oak and then I'm gonna go in with Ofra Cosmetics. Um, it's called Mocha. This is the old packaging. I actually just ordered a new one on Sephora, but I mean, not Sephora, Ulta, 
but it's in the mail coming and everything is a little bit delayed right now in the mail so it's taken a little bit longer than usual but this is one of my favorite colors ever so I'm going to use that and then I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood to lighten it up a little bit because this is a little bit dark so I'm kind of going to put this on the outside and then put this in the center and then I will add a gloss so line I'm actually going to sharpen this a little bit because it's a little bit dull this is just a L'Oreal sharpener that's good enough for me and then line your lips and my trick to making your lips last really you know throughout the whole day even through eating is always fill them in with your lip liner doesn't have to be precise or you know perfect just kind of fill them in like that because you're going to put more colors on top of it anyways i've stated before like i absolutely love uh doing like lip product i just think it looks so beautiful i think it completes every look and i love doing my lips i love doing the whole steps and the whole shebang and then this i'm gonna go ahead and put you see how it's kind of like a little bit dark but we're gonna put that other color to lighten it up a bit but like i love this color it's a true like you know it lives up to its name it's a true like mocha color i really do love it out of all my like dark lips this has got to be one of like my favorites because it doesn't like look like poop brown it looks like a really nice pretty like chestnut brown i guess like a mocha I'm sorry guys, it's hard to talk when you're doing your lips because you wanna make sure that you get in your lines and everything. So I'm trying to be very, very careful. Go ahead and line this right here. And then I'm gonna take ABH, Pure Hollywood, and put that all right here, just cause I don't want my lip to be too dark. But then this is also too light for me to wear on its own. So I'm gonna kinda combine the two and then I get this really pretty color right there. And just pat them in until you know they're blended together that looks really really nice but I, I mean you definitely could leave it here this is pretty but I'm gonna go ahead and add a gloss because I love glosses and I love topping off all my like lip looks with the gloss and this is just uh, this is like a travel size but it's Marca Jacobs sugar sugar and I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the center like that and then pat it out I love this gloss. I definitely want to get it in a bigger size, but I mean, for now it works. Easy to travel with because you know, it's small. It fits in my bag really nicely when I go to work. What are you doing? My Sini's still right here. They like to be with me and I love when they're with me. You know, it's been raining. It rained like all day yesterday. So they were a little bit wet and their paws were wet. So I didn't really let them in the room as much yesterday just because, just because it was wet, you know, you don't want my bedding is like white and then our floors are like beige so i didn't want their paws everywhere but because they're dried off now they get to come and my jackie's just laying here and then my Cindy now gets to get on my bed so she's she's pretty happy so now the last thing we're going to do is just spray some uh setting spray this is morphe's and i'm actually going to kind of cover my eyes because i don't want any bad creasing so i'm just going to do a little bit there and then a little bit on my face and then just let that dry all right guys, so that does end this makeup tutorial. This is the final look. I really hoped you enjoyed watching it. I really enjoyed doing it. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like smiling because I mean, let's be real. I haven't worn makeup in a while. It's been at least five days or six days. And you know how some days you just feel like, okay, I need to put on makeup today or I need to do something today to like make sure I still got it. That's kind of how I felt today. And I feel so glam. I feel great. And I just love this, this color from Dominique Cosmetics, Black Matter. It's like, it has like almost like a purple shift to it. So it's definitely like a black like color but it has or like a chrome color but it has like this like purple reflect to it and it's it's such a pretty pretty color and I am not one to ever really want to wear a black smoky eye because again they are just like sometimes they can be hard to do because it can get out of hand really quick and then it just looks like you have a big old like psh, black eye but I mean this is a really nice tasteful subtle take on it and i love this now i hope you guys did too and if you do recreate it tag me on instagram i would love to see it um i will put my instagram name it's just leia doll i use it for all my social medias if you ever want to look me up please do follow me and yeah if you like this please do give it a thumbs up i again i'm i 
I'm here for it. I love this look. It's again, definitely not anything I would do on a normal day, but man, I would totally wear this going out in the future. I like saw this meme that was just so funny that was saying like, I'm going to be like gone for a whole month once this quarantine's over because we're so used to being indoors now that we're like, I'm going to like not come home. And I definitely will wear this every single day that I don't come home after this quarantine is over. And I almost feel like I want to like run a Target or the grocery store, even though I know I'm not, but I'm like, I feel like I want to be seen. I did my makeup. I want to be seen. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks as always for joining me on this tutorial. I greatly appreciate your support and I love having you here and I love interacting with you. And yeah, leave me down in the comments again, uh, any videos you would love to see. I would love to film them, whether they're Disney related, flight attendant related, makeup related, food, animals, anything. I'm down to do anything you guys want to see and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.